Uh, so not, he's not just known, Yetta, as you know, for his creativity and his music, but also for his philanthropic nature and what an impact he's had on this community. We're so lucky uh, that he continues to reside here in Phoenix because it really makes a difference. One of the ways he gives back is through a Solid Rock Foundation. That's a teen center, a place where teens can come together, uh, show their support for each other and appreciate their love of music, have a safe space to grow that creativity. So Jessica is joining us live this morning with the story of one teenager who was dramatically impacted by the Solid Rock Foundation and Center and really the gift of music. Good morning, Jess. Good morning, yeah, and he has impacted, like you said, the lives of so many teens. This center here provides art classes, music lessons, they have a recording studio, and it's all free. Marcus lived right down the street. It took him a little bit to walk through the doors, but when he did, oh man, it changed your life. Marcus, tell us about that. Um, the whole thing is just really great. I mean, um, I play the drums and uh, probably the week after I found this place, uh, I took drum lessons and um, I improved uh, the next day pretty much afterwards. Your dad you know? has the best line, I love it, he says, uh, you know, you had some health problems, you beat cancer, and now you're beating the drums. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Well, the song that Alice Cooper wrote, you listened to it, you said it really meant a lot to you, Don't Give Up. What does that mean to you? Um, well, pretty much like the title says, Don't Give Up. Um, you know, just don't let er anything stop you, really. Um, just keep going, really. Thank you so much, Marcus. Anthony, I want to bring you in. Your dad, your son is, is such an inspiration. You say Thank that you. you live vicariously through him. I do. I do. If I, if I was a teenager, if they had this kind of a facility when I was a teenager, I'd be here all the time. Um, the facility itself, you, you see the stage, you mentioned the, the studio, um, and then all of the opportunities that you, you're allowed to have here. He's, um, he played the celebrity theater. He's met celebrities and the staff is just absolutely incredible. So we love it. Randy, come on in. So you said today is a big day because you guys have been closed for some time now and, and you're back. We average 100 kids a day at our teen center on 32nd Street in Thunderbird. And we've been closed for seven weeks, although we've been doing online uh, virtual lessons. So today is your first day back, but it's um, very limited, correct? We're doing two hour segments so teens can come by Monday through Friday from 2 to 8, and if anybody wants to get a free music, art, or dance lesson, or hang out, they can just call our office. An appointment started at 2 o'clock? 2 o'clock starting today. Fantastic. Marcus, you want to play for us a little bit? Sure. All right, let's, let's hear you play a little bit. Dad, come on over here, because I want to talk to you about his drumming. Sure. If you could stand right here. <laughs> you said he's improved in, in a huge way, just yeah. in the last six months. Yeah, um, like during the quarantine now, he uh, learns probably a, one new song a week. And um, it's been interesting uh, because he's got a drum kit at home. So, you know, you never want to tell him to stop playing. Uh, <laughs> but sometimes I just go in the other room and, and listen to music on my own. You said you were kind of skeptical about this place in the beginning. Sure, well, we've lived here for close to 20 years. And um, I saw it being built, and when I heard it was going to be a teen center, I imagined it just being a bunch of teens vaping and spraying graffiti all over the place. <laughs> but, but it's not like that at all. It's, it's way much more than that. It's really turned out to be a godsend for your family, for your son, Marcus. He is such an inspiration, you guys. He's overcome so many health issues. He battled cancer. He's beaten the drums. It's phenomenal what they do here. 